Bruce Blade. Um, yeah, what I was what I was saying there was, um, I used to believe that games were like it was like fun, and it was just, like a level of fun. That was like the only way that I measured a game. Which is like, was this game fun? And then when it wasn't fun, well, this game sucks. Which is ridiculous that a game could be good and then not good. Um, although I guess that kind of makes sense. But anyway, I'm trying to I'm trying to put myself down here. Anyway, putting yourself down pretty well. Yeah, thank you. I, I never understood the idea of um, objectively good decisions, regardless of whether I liked them. I would always look at a game like a golfing game and just be like, the fuck? Why would you want to play that game? But there really are good golfing games, and then they they are designed by people who are passionate about making golfing games. Which hey, yeah, that's and, your thing. well, and they're that's based off the merits of a golfing game. They're not based off the merits of a crackdown game. Yeah, and a lot of decisions like the the um the weird demographic options that people choose, like Pixels, is, is a, an interesting example. The the um the Adam Sandler movie. Ah yes, or. It's Sandler, right? It's also got Kevin James, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, both. And it's a it's a movie about retro games aimed at children who are probably not going to get the retro uh, aspect, um, aspect of, it. of it. Like, yeah, they're not going to connect to Pac-Man the same way the adults will. Yeah, but but it's written for children. It's a weird uh, kind of like fence-sitting situation on that. And then I was also just watching a really great Super Bunny Hop, which, by the way, you gotta go check out Super Bunny Hop. I really thought I was being goofy by giving, um, giving like a, a one million subscriber or a two million subscriber channel a shout out, but he's got just hit two hundred thousand subscribers. He he is hmm. not as popular as he should be. So go and check them out. Um, but uh, I shouldn't say he. I'm pretty sure it's more than one. But anyway, he just he did a great video about Minecraft, about the ridiculousness of story mode in in Minecraft, and how it's like a weird between situation, where it's like it's a game for kids, but you're making it in like a mature way, but the kids who play Minecraft are a lot they're like, they're like cut above the rest. They don't screw around because it's not like a Call of Duty movie that is stupid and self-aware and made for kids would make sense because it's it's a lot of a lot of like 13 year olds play call of duty it's easy to get into it's easy to set up it's on a system that requires almost no understanding of technology well as minecraft requires a shit ton of understanding i couldn't even i, I couldn't even set it up without uh, dane's help wow because i actually like i know an eight-year-old kid that plays minecraft but i never knew that there would actually be those kinds of requirements yeah so i wonder I, if his dad just knows what's what Maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of great forums. Remember how into, into that kind of stuff we were, though? Like When we were young, there was so much troubleshooting stuff. And, and like games were not designed back in, like, I guess, like, well, um, two, three years before this, I guess. It was it was an era of where people weren't too worried about you understanding the game. Because it would still sell well, because there weren't very many games out there. Yeah, people didn't care at all. It was just like, here's a game, pay money. Yeah. Pay money, give us money. You know, what, what do they call that? The EA strategy? <laughs> <laughs> actually, EA back then was making uh, games for game's sake. That's true. That was actually uh, a really good era. I remember really, really liking EA at a certain point. Me too. They, they used to be a small... Uh, small uh, small developer. Just Doesn't that seem to be way. the way? Everyone, they're, they're great when they're small. And then they get big and they get... Yeah, yeah I, I I used to be quite an asshole, and uh, I've talked about this like the the, the Radcliffe effect, where like I, I looked at him and I was like, oh look at you trying to do something else. Like how much of a douche I was to have a problem with that. <laughs> Especially because he's actually like starting to be in some pretty cool looking things. Yeah. Have you so, seen that like, new movie he's gonna be in where he plays like an undercover cop pretending to be a skinhead? No. Yeah. He, oh yes. Um, I saw I saw a picture of it. I thought it was a. I thought it was an actual skinhead lookalike. That's funny. Um, yeah, no, it looks it looks really good. Terrifying. Yeah, it does, good. yeah, it does look fantastic. Well, the whole like the concept of, of that kind of thing is terrifying in the first place. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? The Radcliffe effect. What was I talking about that oh, led me to that? Being an asshole with the EA. Yes, being an asshole. Um, I used to believe that people like um, uh, Bring Me the Horizon. A lot of their music 
in the early days was about uh, awful shit and awful lives. And I thought, well, hey, you're successful. What would you, you got to be sad about? <laughs> and I thought that this last album that they made, um, I'm trying to come up with the name of it so that people understand what I'm talking about, instead of just assuming the last the last album that came out after that. Because it might not be it might not be the same last album. Especially because this is years ago you're talking about, right? Uh, no, I'm talking about the one that came out just recently. And oh. I, was, I was thinking, like, these guys are so successful. What's going on in his life? And uh, they put out a, um, a commentary album with it, so he talks about the song before it comes on. And he talks about how it didn't doesn't matter how much money you have. <laughs> like it doesn't matter how successful you are, it doesn't matter how many people love you. The 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 stresses and anxieties of life still hit you and sometimes harder when when you have all these people saying that kind of thing. Well, I don't know who it was that said this, but as your fame or money or anything grows, so do your problems. Yeah, more money, more problems. Well yeah, you know how people can be filthy rich but are still always worried that they don't have enough money. Mm -hmm. And yet some people can be like really poor and still really not have an issue with the fact that they don't have more money. Yeah. And it's like, I got money to feed my cat. I got money to, you know, have a beer or two. I don't, I don't need any more money. <laughs> Who are you talking about here? <laughs> well, for a lot of people, you're living in, you're living in a situation you can afford and you have a life that you can afford and that's all that matters. But once your life costs like a hundred million dollars, mm -hmm. like all of a sudden now you need another hundred million dollars just to do it for another year. Yeah, and I, I thought I thought about my situation objectively. It'd be very easy to look at my like my current life. That's the spirit is the name of the new album. I think. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about now. People who know Bring Me the Horizon know what I'm talking about now. That's important. Yeah, and they're screaming um, at their screens. My, I'm uh, 24. I work slightly above minimum wage in a greasy pizza place. I live on my own with a cat. Like, you could very easily uh, consider, like, you could look at, a lot of people do have that exact... Can make a movie about it. <laughs> yeah, and they'd be like, oh, I got a shitty life and a shitty job. and But I love ev I love everything about it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not super crazy about my job, but being on my feet all day is really good for me. You guys are killing civilians, you fucks. And... Uh, and uh, I don't, I don't know what it's called. I think it has a name for it. Einstein talked about it. How doing mundane tasks uh, opens your 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 mind up to creativity. Because I have come up with some of my greatest ideas for the future while just doing the same job I've done every single day. And then it's it's close to home, and so I don't have to. I don't, I don't need a car. I got my own place, and I fucking love it and i i cannot believe i ever lived with people like holy shit well what you're really hitting on here is silver linings yeah there there really truly is two ways to look at everything and i've really geared it's not like i didn't fall into what i'm currently in i this is all by my choice i went and got a job i went and got this job <laughs> i paid for this apartment i got that cat like <laughs> that, that was nice like none of this stuff was random. I didn't just like wake up one day and I was like, "Oh, I have, I, I have a cat." Like all this stuff uh, happened because I wanted it to happen. Yeah, it's a life you've created and a life you've earned. Yeah, and a big part of it is that I know where I want to go and, I, and I'm happy with with uh, my creative endeavors at the moment. Nice, good. Yeah, that's a good choice. That's probably what I would go with. Well, because I also kind of wanted two piece people. At a certain point, my kicks will kill them in one shot, but uh, I want to try while I have the chance. Mm. And let's go see if we can kill uh, this big old bastard over here. Jose or whatever. Oh, did that guy just say he's acting a fool? Probably. Oh. That looks like, look like a big smoke. <laughs> the one he just took out. <laughs> the bus driver's like, fuck you, yeah. God. Yeah, he is not having any of this gang activity <laughs> shit. Yeah, he's not kidding when he says everything's gone to shit. Like, even the civilians are are living the life. Does, do all the orbs just automatically come to you? Yep. Or do you need to be in a certain radius? No, they just fly to you. Oh, that's nice. You can actually kill someone. Like, if you if you use a sniper rifle at absolute max range, they'll, they'll just fly across all the buildings, just come right to you. That was something that really bothered me about Fable, is that at first it kind of feels nice, but having to stand there holding the button and running around grabbing all the points, it's just, it started to become tedious. Yeah, I agree. Oh man, dude, this is how this is. I'm, I'm probably gonna be playing this uh, between sessions because it's just mindless nonsense. 
It kind of is. Yes, knock him back. Yes. Nice. Okay, now I can kill them in one shot. Get up. Get up. <laughs> oh, Get this is a hit squad. Get up so I can okay, put you so down. You see these guys with the circled things? Yeah. That means that they're actually like they came just to kill me. They're not normal enemies. They like actually that. drive in with the intention of killing you. I like how they 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 knew people are going to rampage. This is this is what we've designed our <laughs> guys on the floor already. Yeah, I think the his <laughs> friends drove him over. <laughs> well having having strength also gives you health bars. So you see below my blue health bar there, they have those two little squares. Yeah. Those are full extra health bars. And it's like our grandmother always said. John, have strength. Because with strength <laughs> You can break <laughs> you things. can break things. Dude, uh, John Lejoie has not posted a lot in, in, in a while. Like, if you go to the, the video page as of mid-2016. <laughs> fucking Dayton's. I don't want to date this, but anyway, so... This, so, so in mid-2016. So in May. <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 yeah, if you go to the video page right now, it's... Um, fuck. We need to do these sessions earlier in the day. <laughs> When your brain's active? Yeah. Um, it's pretty they much... They got in the car! They got back in their car! Well, of course. That's that's what... That makes sense. Well, so see how there's a Los Muertos kill thing in the top right corner? Hold on. I'm sorry. There's a nightclub over there called Boners. Go back. <laughs> turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Boners! Yeah. I know where I'm coming back as soon as I drop this weapon off. Um, what the fuck was I saying? Oh, yes, if you go to the video page like of like the last uploads, the ones that you and I know are still in the top fold. Oh, wow, so, so they're, so he like, hasn't done much at all. Well, on YouTube, he's been very successful still. Um, he's in a TV show, right? Yeah, yeah he, he's the league. Uh, and I, I'm, I think that's actually the kind of thing he always wanted to, to get to. His character so. name's Taco, right? I think so, yeah. I haven't actually watched the show. I should. I would probably like it. But... He just, I just decided to go and check on him, and he happened to post something a week ago. Oh. And it has been like months since he posted something. It was a very strange music video. It was very well done. And he, he, he wrote in the description that it was something he had wanted to try for a while, and it it's the first thing he's ever done with no obvious punchline. And it's very strange. It's like the whole thing is a joke instead of it being... Like the whole thing is an idea. A joke is an idea instead of an individual punchline that most comedy music videos have. Yeah, because it's usually, it's usually like, this is the Hands commercial, and all the jokes associated with the Hands commercial. <laughs> oh, let me give you a hand! <laughs> Thank you for joining us! <laughs>